15 announced matches, but we're going to start with one that isn't announced. Elias is there. He's performing. What ends up happening with Elias? Oh, God. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. Some, some, I mean, the, the, I, I don't think they, they'd use like Taker or something like that. Is, 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 this could be a comeback of somebody. Like this could be, this could be, uh, you know, somebody we haven't seen in a while or a debut or something. I think I it's Undertaker or Cena personally. Uh, yeah. Gosh, I, I'm still holding out hope that they figured out a way to get Baron off the card and get Cena that spot versus angle. Mm -hmm. Like, because yeah, but yeah, if, if Cena's not in that match, then he's definitely doing this thing with Elias. Yeah, I would agree. The Usos versus Ricochet and Alistair Black, the bar, Shinsuke and Rusev. I think this is Ricochet and Alistair Black's moment because the Usos, I have no idea of their contract status yet, but as of a couple months ago, it expired in April. Don't know if it if it's still that way, but I'm leaning Ricochet and Aleister Black. They have not been pinned or submitted as a team on NXT, on Raw, on SmackDown. And Alex, between last Monday and this Sunday, they'll have competed for all three sets of tag titles. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, I think they win. I think they're the double champs for like, you know, however long it, it takes for them to relinquish the NXT titles. And that's that's a better that's a better way of, of doing it. Like we can't defend both. Uh we're on SmackDown now. Um we're gonna give up these titles. And like I said, that opens up the door for a lot of great stuff in NXT. I think that that is something they want to do. They really, they may, the thought was when they got when they got brought up that Vince wanted to make them stars as soon as possible to get more stars on his TV shows. Um, and I think that this is a great way of doing it. Having having them take this, be the NXT champs walking in and walk out double champs. I think that's a great way of doing it. WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. It should be Asuka. It should be. Uh, or or someone that they want to launch like yeah, a Lacey Evans. Yeah, I, I think I think I think I think Lacey Evans is this is the most obvious bet. Um I think it should be Asuka as well. Uh and her winning it, even since there are no, you know, automatic rematches, um her her winning the, the battle royal allows her to have that as, as a as a card in her pocket to, to be why she deserves a shot at whatever championship uh she's uh, whatever show she's on after the superstar shakeup i've got it down to oscar or or lacey evans there yeah the boston hug connection the divas of doom nia jackson tamina and the iconics fatal four-way match for the wwe tag team championships i think the smart money would be on bailey and sasha banks the Iconics in the ring. Mm. No. Nia Jax and Tamina in the ring. Mm. Divas of Doom wouldn't hate it. Yeah. Uh I I I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised to see Divas of Doom take it and lose it back to Bailey and Sasha before this uh NXT thing, because that's not until June. So mm -hmm. I, I I believe that the first time that these tag titles are defended in NXT against NXT competition. The people who will be holding them and defending them are going to be Sasha and Bailey. But that doesn't mean they have to be undefeated and only have one reign with the titles between now and then. So, yeah, I mean, I think Sasha and Bailey will probably win. But if not, I think that you're going to see uh, Beth Phoenix uh, stand tall. Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. Drew has no chance of winning nope. this. And, and reason, rightfully and reasonably so, Roman sure. Reigns should and will win this. Yes. Um, Drew's going to make uh, everything look fantastic, though. Um, Drew's, Drew's going to uh, be in control for most of this match, beating him down, being a badass, probably talking way too much uh, directly into the face of Roman Reigns like he likes to do. Um but uh, I, I, he's going to make it look really convincing uh, when he loses. Um, and I, I think that this is, we always talk about, you know, wins and losses do matter. But I think that to be in the spot 
of the guy who who loses to to Roman Reigns returning from cancer at WrestleMania, I think is fine, especially because I think that 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 I really believe that they have to know what they have with Drew, and he is a future multi-time champion over the next couple of years in WWE. Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio. If Mysterio actually competes in this match, I'm going with him. Yeah. Uh, he deserves it because, my yeah. God, he has been an MVP of SmackDown over the last six, seven months. The run in the ring that he's been on, except for this week's Baron Corbin match, yeah, has been incredible. Rey Mysterio has been nothing short of special. I see him picking up that win. Yeah, it's difficult, you know, because they certainly didn't make him look great on Monday, uh, losing to Baron Corbin, who's not in any kind of a title picture. Um, it's it was really odd. I, I I wouldn't be upset to see Joe retain because you know that would make Joe formidable in some way because sure. he never he never wins anything. Um, but yeah, I, I think that the the feel good moment would certainly be. Uh, Ray winning it and then celebrating in the ring by being carried around on his son's shoulders. <laughs> I was going to say, I would, uh, Hannah Moore speculated to me, maybe Dominic replaces him. I'm like, whoa, that U.S. title probably has a weight limit of at least 450 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> Dominic can't, can't no, compete can't, for that title. Can't, can't do it. Also, Ray has never had the U.S. title. Wow. Not in WCW or WWE, which is kind of wild to think because he was no. on SmackDown for so long. Yeah, no, he's uh, yeah, he's got in in that case, I think he's got to win it. I mean, it's perfect for because you know he's he's been around for so long. Last title, it completes the set. Got to do it. AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. I think AJ is taking this one. Vince McMahon is in love with AJ Styles, and he should be. And yeah. AJ just signed that new deal. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I think that's I think. It, uh, it, tonight, um, with AJ being uh, RKO'd out of the air on the phenomenal forearm attempt, uh, tonight that happening tonight instead of on Sunday seals the deal for me. AJ's definitely winning the match. Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. We know who's in it so far, but there's a lot of people who haven't been booked in matches yet. Kevin Owens hasn't yet. Usually we have additional surprise entries. Don't think we'll have that this time because of Shay and Joe's. Braun Strowman should win this. Uh, I think Braun Strowman is definitely not winning it because that's what the story they tell with him. Is he's uh, going to chase them around the whole night. Right. He's going to chase them around the whole night because they, they will not, obviously, Jost and Shay will not win the match, but they will cost Braun the match. Um, and uh, because of that, he will just chase them around the whole night. It'll be hilarious. Ooh, comedy from the large man. Um, my pick to win it in that case uh, is Mustafa Ali, or now just Ali. I think that there's a there's, because he's not in anything else right now. They they want to keep him hot. I think it'd be kind of cool to see a smaller guy do it. And if there's anybody who could figure out a way of like hurricane running somebody over the top rope, it would be Mustafa Ali. I mean, he got beaten three minutes tonight. I don't know if they want to keep him hot right well, now. Well, I mean, they're doing a lot on social media with him. Mm -hmm. I, I I agree with you tonight. Notwithstanding, I think that they, there's a, there's a way of making it seem important if he wins. But yeah, tonight tonight did not uh, do well for my prediction that I had made before tonight's SmackDown. Shane McMahon versus The Miz falls count anywhere. This is under the radar because you know, they've had a decent feud and all that, but falls count anywhere could make this a whole lot of fun. Yeah, This could be the variety show aspect of this. Uh, Quite frankly, we could see Braun Strowman chasing Shay and Jost through this match. Yeah, that and costing it, Shane McMahon the they, match. They, they could definitely <laughs> do it. Um, yeah, um, I'm just wondering. I I, I don't know. Uh, we don't know what the set looks like. We're gonna start getting those pictures in the next few days. Um, now, now that I think of that, Alex. Braun Strowman mowing down Shane as he's about to win <laughs> through like one of those crappy drywalls yeah that'd be good uh, and while he's chasing shane and jose and then that puts yeah shane mcmahon's frustrations on braun Strowman moving forward that could be fun wouldn't hate it i wouldn't hate it either uh all i know is that shane's doing an elbow drop off something tall let's hope maybe it's braun's shoulders um or or they, dominic's dominic's shoulders. <laughs> 
Uh, they're going to make Dominic in one night, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, make him, we're going to make him into a star in one night. Miz is winning this in my estimation. Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. I think this is a squash match either way. Either Baron yeah. just mows down Kurt Angle or Kurt Angle mows down Baron Corbin. And uh, then we see somebody else. Yeah, I could see that too. Um, uh, yeah, I, I want a real challenge and then somebody else comes out. I don't know. Uh, it's weird. Um, this whole thing's been weird since they announced that Baron Corbin was going to be the partner for it. Like, is it, uh, are they going to do the thing where like angle does the job on the way out to put over the younger talent? And if so, why is that younger talent Baron Corbin? There's so, so <laughs> many other people they could have used instead. Um, the triumphant return of Jason Jordan. To avenge his father's ugly loss? No, probably not. I don't know. Uh, I hope it's not Baron Corbin. Let's not let's uh, let's not add to this thing with him. Triple H versus Batista. No holds barred. If Triple H loses, he must retire from in ring competition. I mean, wasn't it was it Batista? Did did they say career versus career, or just that Triple H would have to retire? I thought it was career versus career, but I guess it is. It's explicitly just Triple H. Then I guess if Dave Batista uh, were to lose, then he could just come back on Monday and have another match because you know it was Batista. But um, yeah, okay. Explain to me the difference between no holds barred in a WWE style and no DQ. Like can can Batista hit Triple H with a chair or Triple H hit? So with not a not to spoil content plans, but actually I'm working on trying to put together a video series with a ref where they explain these types of things. Okay, I don't know. I, uh, ideally, just no wrestling holds would yeah. be barred. I but would I, think. What wrestling holds are Triple H? In? Pile driver. Oh, okay. Pile driver has been banned. So, but well, listen. The, the the you know the, the uh, Canadian destroyer was banned, but now that's not banned anymore. So maybe we'll get to see old trips land a Canadian destroyer on the animal. You never know. I mean, no holds are barred now. Buddy Murphy, Tony Nice, cruiserweight championship. I think Nice is going to walk away victorious. Yeah, I have a I have a uh, 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 an embarrassing little secret. Um, haven't have been watching any two hundred five live. Um, what I know, I was the two hundred five live guy, um, and 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 I realized after Mustafa Ali moved up to the main roster that I was really watching two hundred five live for Mustafa Ali, um, and and Buddy Murphy stuff. But Buddy Murphy's not having matches, like he's not having matches on 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 the regular TV. So I'm not missing any Buddy Murphy stuff. So it was a shock to me that Tony Nese came out of the little tournament as the as the challenger to Buddy Murphy. Why is it going to be a little tournament? Because they're 205 pounds? No, I mean, it's not a little tournament. I guess it's a regular tournament. Had Sorry. some good people in there. Former WWE interim champion Brian Kendrick was in that. Yes, he was. And, former and Cruiserweight champion Cedric Alexander. Former Cruiserweight champion uh, Tazawa in that. Yes, I saw that. And Former also, U.S. champion Kalisto. Why is it going to be little? And new 205 Live member Oni Lorkin. Yeah, which is interesting to me. Uh, honestly, if it was an Oni Lorkin versus Buddy Murphy match, I'd be way more into that than Tony Nese versus Buddy Murphy. But hey, you know what? Shock me, but Tony Nese, shock me, shock the world. Do something. That I'm I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt, but I, I love Buddy Murphy. And yeah, I, I, yeah. I just, I just I just hope you stop body shaming these people. I, I should. You're right. Uh, Joe Holbert has a fantastic column on Tony Nese. Oh, by the way, he has a fantastic column on Ronda Rousey, a fantastic column on Kofi Kingston, the Boston Hug Connection, any number of stars on this show. Joe Holbert has done like 10 profiles or will by the time WrestleMania rolls around. Becky Lynch as well. Go check those out, guys. Then we have the three main events, so to speak. Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. It could be a feel good show. It but could man, be. Do, do, I you, think Brock, do you expect that, Sean? No, Lester? I expect Brock Lesnar to win this match. <laughs> yeah, Brock Lesnar's winning this match. Um, that sucks. It sucks. Because Seth could, Seth's the only guy who really knows. Like, he's, he's right there, man. He's there and he's ready. He's poised to have this moment. And, and I, I believe 
that had Roman not come back when he did, that Seth might still have this moment. But if Roman is a viable alternative to take the belt off of Brock Lesnar anytime between now and SummerSlam, then Seth's not certainly not taking the belt off of Brock Lesnar. What are you are you kidding me? That's insane. Um the, the, there's a horrible little corner of my mind that keeps going back to the thing we talked about. Uh, last night of uh, Hogan coming out after Hart lost to Yokozuna, um, if 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 something like that were to happen, but but it wouldn't since Roman's already had will have had a, a grueling match with Drew. He's not coming out and pulling a you me right now to to Brock. Um, what what I think should happen? Seth Rollins should win this match. He should, and then tomorrow night he should say, Roman, get out here. You never lost this title. Yeah, and whether it's for the next pay per view, right, or that night on Raw, and Roman even wins the title, yeah. it just shouldn't be Brock Lesnar anymore. He can't be it anymore. You can't do it. Although, sure, Brock, you can take the damn title to Saudi Arabia in May, but after that, <laughs> you're done. Well, so can Seth. Seth wrestles there, right? I know that's true, but I think this is the Crown Prince really likes the the giant. The giant red man. They like with, Yokozuna too. Yeah, it's true. Kofi Kingston, Daniel Bryan. It's got to be Kofi's moment. It has to, doesn't it? Like it really, it really has to. Um, there's so much really, um, uh, um, just it's been so so perfectly built up to. I mean, they're telling the right story. I mean, somebody joked with me, like, like talking about worst case scenarios, just the idea of like this, this whole very subtle, and I appreciate the subtlety of it, of Big E's promo he did on, on, um, on social media where like people like us don't, don't get to be in spots like this and being very subtle about it, much more subtle than the Booker T and Triple H storyline. But like the worst case scenario is like, Daniel Bryan hitting the running knee and then taking 30 seconds to crawl over to, to Kofi and pinning him anyway. Like this, they really just rip our hearts out. Like, I mean, listen, Vince loves being a sadist at times with his booking. I just don't think this is the match in which he's going to do it. I mean, he recognized off of one week that Kofi Kingston was the right guy for WrestleMania. Yeah. Right. Right. Boy, right. It for right, all right. the trash we give Vince McMahon right, sometimes, right, he right. read that room. Right guy to go to WrestleMania and right guy to walk out of WrestleMania with the belt can be two very different things, according to Vince sure. McMahon. Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch. Winner take all with the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships. Anything's possible, and they left it very open-ended. Yeah. Ideally, Becky Lynch is the biggest star full time in the company until yeah. Roman's back full right. full speed ahead. And that's been a subject that's been talked about a lot lately about Becky Lynch. I mean, I was told by somebody at a WWE employee she's been the top merch seller since uh Roman Reigns has left. Mm -hmm. He's probably going to take that back over, but um sure. It it really is whoever WWE pushes hardest. That's almost always who it is. That's how their machine works. And Becky Lynch has been the most pushed person on that show. I think she's winning it. I God, I I I really hope so. Um, there's there's uh, the pessimist in me just thinks that there's this 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 preferential uh, feeling toward Charlotte of that. In in ten years, WWE wants you to look back and see the still photos and the video of Charlotte Flair, Ric Flair's daughter, the greatest in their minds, the greatest women's wrestler of all time, winning the first ever all women's uh, main event of WrestleMania and holding up both the Raw and the and the SmackDown titles. They want it to. I feel like they want it to be Charlotte. Now, if if they can get past that and say, yeah, but the person it should be is Becky. It's been, we've been telling that story up until now. It's the one that will send the crowd home ecstatic. The pop, like that if she, if she were able to pin Rhonda, maybe even using the stunner, like what an amazing moment that would be for WrestleMania, how great it would be. 
Um, I don't think she's that, using the stunner though. Kevin Owens is using that. Is he? I mean, yeah. I know, I know. I, I'm saying, I, I know that's that's like his finish now. Okay, well, I haven't seen him wrestle since Fast Lane, so. <laughs> Um, but I know Becky's using it in live events, not necessarily to finish people, but, um, I know she's, she's pulling out live events. Anyway, um, I'm just saying, uh, Becky winning it is, is the right call. I, I never trust Vince to consistently make the right call, but in this case, in this case, I think he will. Make the right call. Subscribe to Fightful. Tap that bell for the notifications. We have some trouble uh, getting that up there, but Fightful Select, our subscription service, our, our premium service rather, has a ton of stuff this week. But this week, we're giving you a preview of that for free. Mr. Warren Hayes' NXT 205 Live UK review is going to be a free preview 